to our food innovation feature tonight. And we have a question for you. Would you consume ugali made from grass? Well, picture this. Three university students from Kabarak University have come up with an innovation where they convert grass to flour and fortify it to become edible. As Marianne Nyambura reports, the young innovators have conducted tests for a year now, and they're seeking approval from the relevant bodies before they can commercialize it and have the grass flower ready for purchase at a store near you. Take a look. Faith Wandia, a 25-year-old student at Kabarak University, is the brain behind this innovation. Her passion for research drove her in this direction, converting grass to flour, an idea birthed three years ago. I'm the founder and CEO of an invention that involves converting grass to human food in order to fight hunger. The three innovators start by identifying the product. In this case, Bermuda grass is their preferred choice. Due to the availability of the grass in the country, they then take the grass to the laboratory where they thoroughly clean, then take it to a separate corner of the room where it is dried. The drying of the grass takes approximately four days and we're drying it under room temperature so that it cannot lose its nutrients. The grass is then ground till it becomes fine, but the dried ground grass is not fit for human consumption just yet. The innovators add enzymes to fortify it. This is a crucial step that will enable the user to digest the flour made from grass. The product is mixed and stored in this incubator for eight hours to make the solution fit for human consumption. The challenges I've experienced are as follows. One, getting the correct enzymes for the reaction. Two, high cost of importation of the enzymes. Currently, the enzymes are not available in the market, but we've taken the initiative and we've learned how to produce them locally. This is the end product, which is similar to maize flour available in various outlets. We then cook the ugali using the fortified grass flour, taking us five minutes before the meal is ready and dig in. What I've noticed is first, this flour cooks faster and about texture, its texture is almost similar, yes. And about taste, it has a different taste, but not a weird taste. So if I bring mine, which, I, which will be sold for about 39 Kenyan shillings, it will be good for him because the rest amount of money, which is about 70 bob, he's going to use that money in other expenses. The innovators say they have done multiple tests to confirm that the flour is fit for human consumption. Their focus now shifts to getting consent from the Kenya Bureau of Standards before they can commercialize it and sell the flour for 35 to 40 shillings per kilo. Within the next one year, we'll be done with the standardization of the production process. And then possibly in another two or so years, we should be able to actually see something on your shelves. We think it is viable uh, as long as we can standardize the process and find out how much volume you need to produce that. It is a good innovation when it comes to the idea of food security. We have a lot of grass. I mean, we have always had a problem with food. Remember, there are areas in this country where people have even died of, uh, of hunger. When we get a breakthrough, this will be actually an invention by a Kenyan, for Kenyans and for the world, and that will also uh, give this country um, a lot of visibility. Professor Catherine Kunyanga, an associate professor in food science and technology, says Kenya has not embraced innovations in food processing, but called for more research to be done before commercialization. But now in human beings, now that's another gray area. So that's why I mentioned that before commercialization, normally when you come with a, such an innovation, you have to do lab trials. You need to even produce prototypes. But like, being a researcher, these are the innovation we encounter. You may never know. You might not discover the next replacement of Ugali, but something will come out of it, definitely. And that's the beauty of research. For these young innovators, converting grass to edible flour is part of their contribution to society in addressing food security challenges in the country. Miriam Nyambura, Citizen TV, at Kabarak University, Nakuru.